All right. Well, <laughs> I'm in a hell of a time with the damn cameras. Let me just show you how to do this. You may want to watch the whole video before you set it up, just because this is kind of trial by error and how I just read the dang directions. <laughs> They're kind of vague, to be honest with you. And you kind of skip around, kind of like I'm doing. Um, you know. But anyways, in here you got a little rubber circle that clogs up these holes right here. And you can choose to use the suction cup or not. I'm going to do it. I did on the other side. It holds a little better. I don't think it's a, a huge difference, but we'll do it right, you know? We lost one a little man down. They're a tight fit, which is good because we want them to hold. But now these suction cups go in the back of your tank, as you can probably see. I'll just hold the there a little bit better. Let me get the one to drop. Four for each side. And like I said, I apologize. I'm not the most professional camera person. It'll be easier if I had another person holding the camera and whatnot. But this is as uh, live action as you can get. Oh, crap. It's a little difficult with my tank being it's not like your standard size. It's a little more custom fit. Gotta get up on the chair. Don't want to get electrocuted. Would not be fun. Though I might get a lot of views off of it. Those things seem to come out decently enough. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. All right. Well, and this keep coming off. And that might be fixable with the hose coming out a little bit farther. So, this side was kind of almost a waste, just because it keeps turning, but the you know, tank is just so dirty. Get it to focus here. And what we'll do is we'll adjust these so that they blow. Uh, I'm going to do um, one back towards the, the in, and then maybe one out a little bit, and uh, see what it does. Um, I also have... Um, power head in here. It's hard to see. Put this light back on. That'll help. And I'll adjust that with combination with the out and in just to get um, it doing the best cleaning it can do. Just kind of trial by error, you know. But uh, now what we do, which we should have done earlier, is. these bad boys which I should have already done looks like you need a flathead screwdriver but we will grab those real quick some keys should work because I'm ghetto fabulous like that yeah that'll work alright so Numero uno. Open it up a little bit more. Yeah, 
see, look at that. Perfect. I'm gonna do it right here so I can get it on there good. Cause the last thing you want to do is this coming off, man. That's probably what led to a lot of people's uh, tanks going all over the floor. I got strong fingers. Playing all them dang video games. <laughs> Just playing. And obviously you can do this later on in the steps, but I, I would probably do it earlier. Just so you're not falling on and off all the time. I wouldn't go too hard because you might crack the plastic in there. But that seems pretty good. I'll do this a little bit. You want to be cautious, obviously, of what side you flip the um, hose clamp down on because if it's not the right way, it might be a little harder to angle and get to, depending on your setup. Luckily, I just got lucky and realized that afterwards I hadn't done too much on it yet. So I'm going to go grab one. I'm going to pause you real quick. All right. Should have done this in the first place. I'm going to screw these on. Decently tight. Nothing crazy. Like I said, we don't want to crack the plastic. Let's see what else we got going on here. I think we're done. I think we just gotta get it going. Let's take a gander here. So, I'm going to make sure, which I'm going to have to use my phone for a light here, and make sure that these are um, open and not closed. So this is closed, left is closed, right is open I'm assuming. We will find out. time. <laughs> My side panels aren't attached, which I was going to do, but I kind of like being able to get to all the different sides.
I've got it plugged in. I don't know if we're supposed to prime this thing or not. I don't think it's said to. Let me set this camera back down. Oh yeah, you got to pour 1.6 gallons, or 2 gallons for this one, so I screwed up. Let's unplug this thing. Alright, what been? Like I said, man, <laughs> read the directions. Could have been bad. I don't want to burn out the impellers. But this seems, thing seems like it's pretty smart, like it knew to turn off. So, get all these in done. I figured it had to prime. I didn't know if somehow this thing was going to do it on its own. But that makes sense. The fact that you got to pour two gallons in this thing to tell you how big this filter really is, you know, it's pretty, pretty hefty. All right, grab something. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, I have an idea. I don't know if this is going to work. But we're going to give it a try. Yeah. We're going to fill it up with the same water. And I'll just add it accordingly. For the hose. two gallons for sure. That's probably more. <clears throat> I just use the hose as a siphon to get that filled up from the same water.
And after you get them all done, I'd check them all again, kind of like a tire. But technically, a tire you go, I think, star formation. All right. There we go. Oh, that's. I didn't even plug it yet. No. Listen to that, bud. That bad boy go. You could feel it when it's going in or out. Mind the hose, the glare. Gosh, it's so dirty you can't see the dang filter. There's the filter right there. Sucking in. What we're, we're gonna do is probably aim this bad boy. I don't know, somewhere where it reflects onto it. Let's make sure this thing's going. Oh, we got nothing, so I probably closed it. Here we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Get some serious bubbles coming out of here. And I'll do a follow up video. This one's. <laughs> I should use the camera the whole damn time. I'll do a follow-up video um, as to how clean this tank gets. Maybe a daily. We'll see. Well, we're up and running. Well, thanks for watching and being patient with my uh, off-the-cuff uh, recording. I got some pretty cool fish. Got uh, African South American cichlids, which I know you're not supposed to mix. Blah, blah, blah. Got a biker. Black bullhead catfish, which is definitely not tropical. <laughs> but he's cool. Uh, I got some other things. I got a snowflake eel up in there. He's hungry right now. He's hiding in there. Anyways. Appreciate it. You guys got any questions, comments about how bad my production was? <laughs> it's all good. I can take it. You guys have a good day. See ya.